Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Marceau and today I'm going to be showing you a hack on your Sony camera that is going to help you perfectly, or at least almost perfectly, expose four skin tones when shooting in S-Log3. This works on the Sony a7 IV, a7S 3 I'm not sure about the Sony a7R4. I haven't tried it, I haven't tested it, or the a6600 but you can follow these steps that I'll be showing you today and let me know in the comments below if you own either the A6600, A7R4, or even the A1. Let me know in the comments below if these settings apply to those cameras as well. Sometimes when you're shooting in log, S-Log2 or S-Log3, it gets difficult to nail the exposure in your frame, especially when you have scenery and you have people in the frame. The metering on your camera may not always be 100% correct as it calculates the brightness of your entire frame. But if you want to be very accurate on the exposure on the skin tones, this trick is going to help a lot. If you're new to exposing for S-Log footage, you generally have to overexpose your image. So if you're going by the metering on your camera, for myself, I usually like to keep it in between plus 1.3 to plus 1.7. Sometimes I can go to plus 2.0, but once that plus 2.0 starts blinking, you know that you're way overexposed and you should dial things down to maintain proper exposure. But what happens when you are in an outdoor environment or maybe you're backlit, I'll show you an example later on, and the camera might give you perhaps an incorrect representation of that brightness level for your subject. Perhaps it's correct for the entire frame, but not for your skin tones or the subject. So in order for this to work, you have to adjust a few settings in your camera. So let's hit the menu button, go all the way down to setup, under touch operation, touch function in shooting, make sure that you have touch focus selected. Then let's go back to the menu, go to exposure, and under metering, make sure that your metering mode is now selected to spot. And the last thing you have to make sure you have adjusted is spot metering point. Instead of center, you want to select focus point link. And it, at any time, if you want to know what any of these settings mean on your camera, here you can see that there is a question mark next to that trash can button. So that means that if I press the trash can button, I get a little bit more information on what that setting does. So this focus point link, for example, tells me that the spot circle is linked to the focus point. And that's why we had to adjust the focus point first so that this spot circle can be linked to that. Select that. And since the mirroring mode is now in spot, now we can go ahead and expose for specific points in our image. So after you set those up, you see that this little circle appears on my screen. This is going to show you where in your screen you're tapping if you want to set focus. But the really cool thing about this is that now you have the metering set to this spot as well. So that whatever you have over here, the metering, the numbers here at the bottom of your camera screen, wherever you tap, it's going to show you the exact metering for that particular section in your frame. So let's try this out. So I'm gonna tap my face right now. You see that the metering changes. The metering is set now to, I can't see, plus 1.3. So as I move, that metering is going to be adjusting to whatever is in that particular circle. So let's tap to the right. Let's tap on this side. You can see that the metering changes to plus 1.7. If I tap on my shirt, tap on my shirt, you can see that the metering changes to now to minus 1.7. That means that this is darker in my image, therefore, therefore this particular part is underexposed. So if you want to make sure that your subject is always exposed correctly, depending on what you have in your background, you tap on your subject. So now let's tap on myself and let's tap right here. I'm at plus 1.7 right now so that's okay that's pretty properly exposed in my opinion if as long as i'm around plus 1.3 and plus 1.7 i know that my skin tones are properly exposed for s log 3 in this instance so now let's turn this camera around and let's have a brighter background behind me to see how this works in an environment where you may be backlit so now we have the window behind me and my i'm backlit 
overexposed in the background. And sometimes if you have the multimetering on your camera turned on, it might be a little bit difficult to gauge whether your subject is exposed correctly. And this happens a lot when you're shooting outside and you're in the shade, you are in the shade or your subject's in the shade, but your background is severely overexposed. Let's switch it back to multimetering first and see what we get. So right now we are in multimeterings, in the multimetering setting, and you can see that the metering here, it's getting an overall reading of the entire frame. And because there's a lot of stuff happening here at the back that is blown out, overexposed, it's giving me a meter of plus 2.0. This is normally a red flag. It means that your footage is very overexposed. But with this frame and particularly myself, which is the main focus of attention on this frame, I am not overexposed. I'm probably even a little bit underexposed, if you ask me, just basing it on looking at the frame right now. So now let's turn it back to the spot metering. So now we're back under spot metering and the circle is back. Let's tap on the screen to see what we get. So we tap over here. We can see that this is severely overexposed and it says on the metering. Now, if you tap on my share, it says minus 2.0 underexposed, which is supposed to happen. And now let's type on my face because we want to be exposing to me. So as soon as you tap on my face, it says that we're underexposed minus 0.3. And I'm recording it right now. So once I add in the conversion light, you'll be able to see the difference. So this is with spot metering on my face minus 0.3 and in wide multi-metering it said that the entire image was overexposed at plus 2.0 and above. So right now I'm adjusting the spot metering on my face. I'm just tapping it over here and, just, and it still says minus 0.3 but as you can see this is a very extreme scenario. Everything behind me is blown out. It's overexposed. So let's open up the aperture a little bit more. 3.2. So I'm about zero right now and just looking on my monitor. It looks okay uh, because everything in the background is already overexposed. So I want to, in this instance, keep the exposure, the spot exposure in between zero to plus one or maybe like plus 0.3 or plus 0.5 or plus 0.7. So that's something that I want to do in this case scenario. Let me tap on myself again, make sure I'm in focus. And this is what this footage looks like with the conversion LUT applied to it. Let's just go now one step further and expose that a little bit even further. So I've raised up the ISO even further now. And as you can see, it says on my face, on my skin tones, that exposure is fluctuating between plus 1.0 to plus 1.3 but in my opinion that's too overexposed for this particular scene so it's always useful to use this tool to make sure that you're exposing well for your skin tones and optimal conditions and in extreme conditions you want to dial it down and tone it down so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed this video you learned something new make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and if you have another sony camera make sure to give this a try and see if that works on your model and let me know in the comments below so that's it and i'll see you next time